tell you, your position might change, but don't change your confession. I say your position might change, but don't change your confession. Your confession must still remain the same. Yes, I lose my job, but I still believe God. Though he slay me, yeah, 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 Santa. My God, I wish I have a church to talk to. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You've got to hold on to your confession. This year, tell the devil, I'm not going to change my confession. My position might change, but I'm going to still trust God. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I'm not coming out. I'm not leaving the church. I'm not giving up. And I'm sending a message to him. I'm not backsliding. I'm not throwing in the towel. I wish if I had a church to talk to, we might get rough in the church. But I hold my seat in Zion. And I stay with praying people. And I stay with worshipers. I'm not leaving the church. But what you have out there? No nice girl. And no pretty boy. I'm not leaving the church. No. You gotta kill me in here, no deal. I'm not setting out. I'm not giving up. I'm not compromising. And I'm not walking away. I'm gonna stay with God. And if I perish, but I'm going. Shake somebody. Tell them, don't sell out. Your position might change, but don't change your confession, no deal. And life is a journey, so sometimes your position has to change. Sometimes you don't, you don't have a job. Have a job today, tomorrow you lose it. Your position change. I'm not bringing back no bad memory. But one day you have a husband and the next day he's gone. But are you going to backslide because he died? Are you going to die because he died? I'm going to tell the devil I shall still live. No, they say nothing. I shall not No deal, devil. You can go ahead and touch my stuff. Take what I do on the table. But I come to tell you in here, no deal. <laughs> Isaiah said, God spoke to Isaiah. Have a seat if you talk. To the Isaiah the prophet. The eagle eyed prophet. The prophet and the seer. Wrapped up in one flesh. Communicating the mind and the will of God, foretelling and foretelling, announcing something. And Isaiah stood under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. God breathed into him and superintended his mind. So he would not interject his own thought into what God is saying. And Isaiah opened his mouth and the eternal God take over and start borrowing his tongue. <laughs> Borrow his tongue and say, For your shame, he shall have double. That's right. Yes, yes. This is a prophetic promise. And a prophetic promise is a real law, it's an established fact. There's a fixity to a prophetic promise. God borrowed the man's lips. Because this earth was never designed for spirit to speak in it without a body. That's why Jesus has to put on a body. Because he has to come in the order of his own divine counsel. Nobody not saying anything to me. Because he did not give the earth to spirits. He gave it to man. Jane no devil in hell can come here and manipulate you. 
You got power to bind him because he's a spirit. And he need to come through the passage, he need to come through a womb. So he's a thief and he's a robber. A slanderer. A liar and an accuser of the brethren. A polyon. That dragon. That demon. Satan. That sorcerer. Oh, dear man. That killer. Bible says he's a thief. Well, I have a warrant for his arrest. Satan, you're a wanted man. Lord Jesus. I tell you, you wanted dead or alive. We have a warrant for his arrest. We've been walking up and down in the earth for too long. We have a warrant to arrest the devil. We cannot lift our hands and stamp our feet and struck him with lightning. And we don't have a church to talk to. And if I rebuke him and he won't rebuke, I speak to the elements to smite him. I would not have a church to talk to. Because there's some people God has to stone them. No, they say nothing here. We can speak to the wind to destroy them. We got power to control everything. So let's go. That's why no. That's why where we go in this year, not everybody can go with you. Gospel light ain't going around the mountain anymore. Y'all ain't saying nothing in here. 24 years you ought to grow up now. You ought to know the devil like you know your name. Some of you all you know you know God, but you don't know the devil. But that devil will come in your incognito, put on dress and put on suit. And if you don't know, so that's the devil. But when the but God have some 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 people, some watchdogs in here. They already say nothing in here. God has some watchmen on the wall. And if a devil ever come around here, even though you see me look pretty in the robe, Lord have mercy, I'm a fighter. They already say nothing to me. Even though you see somebody have a nice hat and somebody have a nice dress. And they can't clap their hand too hard because they push the clap their hand like this. Let that demon show up in here. They take off that nice dress and start to the blood of Jesus. They already say nothing in here. Start speak to the elements and shake them demons out of heavenly places. Because your fight is not in the earth realm. Your fight is in the heavenlies. And there are enemies behind the scene. I want to bring you down. Somebody shout the blood. Tender mercy.